Yeah, hi there. These comments are for IA, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. I'm using your name, IA, because I, for privacy purposes, right? So uh, you completed uh, integrated speaking practice test number one. I'm going to go ahead and listen to it now. The reading and listening discuss the political and economic impact the advertisement. Yeah, I would say impact of, okay, you could use that, or effects of. First, according to the reading, we have, we have many ways to impact people to choose them products, like TV. Yeah, I wouldn't say we have many ways. You might say businesses have many ways to advertise products to their to their consumers or something or the reading and listening discuss the political and economic impact the advertisement first according to the reading we have we have many ways to impact people to choose them products like tv commercial and radio it's not just products, but it's to get them to vote for a particular candidate, right? So the reading is discussing the political effects of advertising. To listening, advertisement impacts people economically, involves people to economic. Now you're moving too quickly here. You're moving too quickly from the reading passage to the lecture. You're not giving enough information there. For example. Consumer not buy a product he or Consumers will not buy a product. He doesn't am familiar with it, but advertisement can affect him to buy that brand. In conclusion, reading and can affect him to buy. You might want to say can cause him to buy a certain brand. Listening, argue each other that advertisement has political and economic effects on people's lives. Okay, so this one. Reading and listening discuss the political and economic. You let me listen to it one more time. The reading and listening discuss the political and economic impact the advertisement. First, according to the reading, we have we have many ways to impact people to choose them products. This is where you're going off the deep end because you're not talking about the political effects of advertising, which is exactly the purpose of the reading passage. So the only thing I have to assume is you don't understand what you read. You're having trouble explaining the information. Like TV commercial and radio. Also, according to listening, advertisement impacts people economically. You see, that, that's better there because you are stating exactly the purpose of the lecture. For example... Consumer not buy a product he or Don't forget your verb in there. He doesn't am familiar with it, but advertisement can affect him to buy that brand. In conclusion, reading and listening argue each other that advertisement has... They argue each other? I, they're not arguing against each other. The one is adding to the information from the other. Political and economic effects on people's lives. Okay, so now let's take a look at the rubrics. So on this one, you had a misunderstanding of the information in the reading passage. You did seem to understand fairly clearly the information from the lecture. Uh, you're also having some language use issues. For example, you might not be putting your verb in there. You're having trouble expressing ideas. You're also speaking a little bit too slowly. You're not using fluent type language so with your delivery uh, I'd like you to spend some time in the pronunciation area of my course first go through the pronunciation lessons focusing on vowel and consonant sounds then you can focus on the lessons uh, syllable division grammatical word endings uh, sentence rhythm word stress intonation and thought groups and blending that's going to be good and grammar you're already working in the grammar section but you're just not using the language enough. I don't get the sense that English is, is comfortable for you. So you have to do a lot of speaking. Watch a lot of TV, read a lot of newspapers, read frequently, speak English as much as you can. Some students, they might want to speak to you in your own language and don't do that. Trust me. 
Your speaking's not good right now, so the only way you're going to get better is practice. So if you speak your own language, it will only hurt your progress. So use the language as much as you can. All right, so your score here, uh, I'm going to put you in, it's going to be pretty low here. I'm going to put you at about 1.83 out of 4 or 14 points out of 30 uh, on this. This is pretty much... This pretty much describes your speaking here. You can click on the link in the email to learn more about your score. Now, secondly, if we look at the syllabus, page 9 in the syllabus, a 1.83, uh, this is going to put you at 65% on this particular practice test. So you had misunderstandings. You had misrepresented information in the reading. You had a lot of problems with your pronunciation and also your grammar. And that brings your score down quite a bit. All righty. Anyway, thank you very much for completing this particular practice test. And hang in there. The first one's always hard. But remember, don't give up. Never stop fighting. Keep practicing. You'll get better.